everybody and welcome back to my video. Hi and welcome if you are new as well. I'm so glad to have you guys here today because for this video we are literally getting everything done that we need to get done for the day. I have felt so good being so productive and getting everything done that has needed it. I've got four videos uploaded just last week and it felt amazing. I wasn't sure if I could do it and I was only pushing myself for three but I got four up and I am so happy that I did because I'm really happy with how those videos are doing and I had so much fun making them. My favorite part is editing. <laughs> so it was fun being able to sit down every day and just edit those videos. Um, I will be pushing for that again this coming week. So this video will go up on Sunday and then I will have three other videos throughout the week that I will upload. I know I'll have one on Wednesday because those are my normal times is Sunday and Wednesday. Um, but the other two will be like thrown in there somewhere. So stay tuned for those. To start off the video, I am making muffins. We always get the wild blueberry muffin mix at the store. And I, I have so much fun making these and my kids love them. So they come in like a little can. They're like small little blueberries and I just rinse mine off before I throw them in. And for some reason they taste so good. <laughs> um, on this day, the instructions said that you needed um, vegetable oil. I did not have vegetable oil. We had actually used it up um, for one of the meals in the beginning of the week. And I didn't feel like running to the store. <laughs> so I looked up online what I can use um, in place of oil and they said just a banana. So I tried that and I think I'm gonna skip the oil next time because it was so good. It wasn't like over banana-y where like if you were to have like banana bread and it's very, like it has a very strong banana flavor. That's not what this was. I just did one banana and I mushed it up and threw it in and it was so good. There was a light hint of banana but it didn't take away from the blueberries. So if you guys wanted to try that, I really recommend it. I still did like the egg and the water in there, but I think it was really, really good. I put mine in the mini cupcake, um, not containers, uh, pans, because my kids love those, uh, what are they called? Like the mini muffins in the bags that you get at the store. They love those, but I can never get myself to spend the price of them because I don't know about where you guys live, but ours have been going like super expensive like absolutely crazy expensive for them and it's cheaper just to get the box here I think it's like a dollar something for this box and make it yourself at home and my kids love it too so you can also um pick and choose your ingredients too so maybe if you wanted to have like chocolate chips in there you could add a few extra chocolate chips um anything like that so I really recommend trying this if you have littles I also topped mine off with a little bit of sugar on top. I love when I get store-bought muffins and they have like the little sugar crystals on top, you know what I mean? I love those. So that's why I like to top mine off with just a little bit of sugar as well. And I'm cleaning up the station where I made the muffins because I was trying very hard to stay on top of having a clean house. As I'm recording this, I need to go catch up. <laughs> but I'll film that for probably Monday's video because uh, my house is back to being messy. I try to stay on top of it and then like, I don't know, once I have dinner, I just, I go downhill. <laughs> I'm just like, you know, I'm just not in the mood to put dishes in the dishwasher and then, you know, I'm just, I'm not in the mood. And then the next morning I see it and I just put it off because I don't want to deal with it. So I just need to find a routine where I can stay on top of keeping my house organized and clean and keeps me sane. <laughs> I feel so much calmer and less anxious when I have a clean house. I've noticed when I do these videos and I get everything done that needs to get done and I can just sit back and see a clean house, it just, I don't know, it just makes me feel so good knowing that I did that and I don't have to stress about it. So that's why another reason I like to keep my house very clean is it just keeps me less anxious and I can actually enjoy my day and not be like stressed out. My biggest pet peeve is when I have a messy house, like I haven't got to it yet, and somebody stops over, <laughs> and then they have to see the entire mess, and I feel horrible. Like, I feel like such a bad parent. Like, you know, my house doesn't always look like this, I promise. Um, even though most of the people that stop by our family and they're like, you have littles, I completely understand, <laughs> but it still drives me crazy. I would rather have a nice clean house for when people come over so they don't have to see the mess and everything. 
these are the muffins these are how they turned out and the whole time i was taking these out you just saw little hands that were just snatching them up they are such a hit in the house once i was done with that i went out to go put clothes on the line and throw some more in the wash i've been really good at getting all of the laundry done and organized um I think on the past few videos I've done, I've had at least two loads of laundry out on the clothesline. And I love how it's getting to the point in the season where when I put clothes out, it's like windy and it's not like super, super hot and humid. So the clothes will dry and like when it's too hot and too humid, the clothes kind of get like a little like stiff, if that makes sense. They're not like super plushy soft, um, like they would be if you put them in the dryer. But when it's like a windy day and it's like 70s outside, it's really nice. And then they're super soft and they smell so good. wanted to take a moment and say thank you guys for subscribing to my channel if you are subscribed it means so much to me I'm so happy that we were able to reach that 500 goal that was the first biggest milestone that I've reached on the channel and it felt amazing so I have a new goal um, set in mind and my husband actually gave me the idea um, my birthday is coming up here in October um, and I would like to reach 1,000 subscribers before my birthday and I feel like that's such a large reach but I think with me putting out four videos a week I think that we can get there um that would be such an awesome birthday present and I told him that my next goal would be 700 which I'll celebrate the 700 too and he's like why don't you push really hard for 1000 before your birthday that would be a really cool birthday present so that is going to be my next goal. So with that being said, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I hope that you guys hang out and click that subscribe button. It also helps me out a ton if you comment or you like or copy the link to the video, share it with your friends, whatever it is. It really helps boost um, my video so others can see it as well and then help gain some more subscribers. So I would love it if you guys could help me out to reach that goal. If you like the content that I post over here on YouTube, also go follow me on Instagram. Um, I post a bunch on my Instagram stories. I'm very active. I'm on there every day <laughs> telling you about different parts of my day. Um, and I would love for you guys to come over, follow me and come over and say hi. I love to see it when you guys come on over. apologize if you hear some background noise in my voiceover. Brandon is outside doing um, like outside chores. He's like weed whacking and things like that. So you might hear it. <laughs> it is what it is. Anyway, I'm finishing putting clothes on the line and I wanted to tell you these little um, pillowcases. If you watch a lot of my videos, you see I'm constantly washing pillowcases and for some reason my kids like to take them off of their pillows and they like to stuff them with blankets so it makes like a big pillow or they stuff it with toys <laughs> every single time um yeah it's just real life and then there's the muffins i forgot to show you what they look like um when they came out of the oven that clip probably should have been a little more up front um, of the video but my bad <laughs> uh anyway my husband stopped at a farmer's stand um he's a truck driver so he drives all over the place and he always sees these little farmer stands and he likes to support them 
and stop by and get some of their things. So a lot of the time he'll pick up corn, um, like fresh corn, like about three or four dozen and we cook it up and then we'll eat some for dinner and then I will freeze it and they taste so good if you do it that way. So good. We actually went through our frozen corn, I want to say March of this year, which I liked mine to last for um, right until the fresh corn starts. Um, so yeah, I have to do a little bit more than I did last year, especially now that my kids are getting older. But it tastes phenomenal. Like it tastes like it's straight off of the corn on the cob in the middle of winter. You guys have to try it. It's so good. You don't even have to use um, the special bags. Just get some Ziploc freezer bags. Make sure there's no air in it and you're set to go. So good. Try it out. Um, but yeah, he stopped at the one farmer's market stand and saw that they had a sale on their sunflowers because it was towards like the end of the season for them. So he got a whole bunch and brought them home for me, which was fine with me because mine were looking pretty sad. Um, so I took mine outside and then was replacing it with these. I had so much of these though, and I didn't know what to do with the extra one. So I actually put one in the bathroom. I took some downstairs on the landing. It looks so good. There is something about fresh flowers um, in your house that just ties everything together and it makes everything just pop, if that makes sense. Like the fake flowers look beautiful too, but there is just something about fresh flowers in the home that it just does it for me. It's one of my favorite things. Moving on to the upstairs bathroom, I wanted to give it a quick little clean. I wasn't going to go too all out on it, but I did see that the sink was looking a little bit gross and I just kind of wanted to get that cleaned up, especially because we have had everybody over this week. I mean, everybody. Um, and like I said, it's like a pet peeve of mine when my house is dirty and people come over. And so I like to make sure that this bathroom stays pretty clean, especially when I know I have a lot of people coming over. I like to use the, the good smelling chemicals in the bathrooms, but when I feel like it just needs a good disinfect, I will just go through with this um, foaming bleach spray. I hate bleach, I'm gonna be honest. I don't like the smell of it and I don't like my hands to touch it if that makes sense. So I really should get gloves for when I'm doing like um, the bathroom job, but I just don't like the smell of bleach. I mean, I like how it kind of smells clean afterwards, but I just feel like it smells very overpowering, which is why you see me turn on um, this extra light. It's the bathroom fan. So that way the bleach wasn't too strong. Uh, but I do think that when you're cleaning bathrooms that it's really important to make sure that you are disinfecting everything. Um, so that's why I like to use it in here. <laughs> Speaking of like germs and bacteria, things like that, I learned this fact the other day, and I think I'm going to make a video on it for Instagram and TikTok too, because I did not believe this fact. Did you know that your kitchen sink holds a lot more bacteria than your bathroom does? I didn't know that. I th would think it would be the other way around, but I guess it would make sense considering, you know, that's where like you would like meal prep, things like that. So, you know, dirty dishes is an easy way for it to like grow mold and bacteria. But how cool is that fact? I noticed when I was picking up the bathroom and I closed the curtain that there's little um, claw prints or claw marks in the curtain, the shower curtain, and that's because we were watching um, my sister's cat O'Malley and I heard him playing in the bathroom and I just thought he was kind of like running laps in the bathtub, but I'm pretty sure he was like climbing up the curtain, <laughs> which is fine if you just kind of like take the material and you stretch it, it'll get rid of like those pinched up claw marks. Um, but yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. And this is what the bathroom looks like. Those flowers really tie everything in. And then this is the downstairs landing. We actually got that welcome home sign from our realtor when we bought our house. 
and I think it fits perfectly down there. It's definitely something I would pick up if I was at the store, so it was a good choice on her part. It would not be an extreme cleaning video of mine if I did not do some sort of dishes. So here I am loading it back up. Like I said, I was staying on top of it, um, and so I had it unloaded in the morning, and then I was just kind of filling it up as I went. So I had a few dishes in the sink from this the morning that I filmed this and I just wanted to put them in there so I didn't really have to focus on them at the later end of the day that is even if I got to them <laughs> just being honest once I was done with that it was time to tackle the laundry so I went and put my kids down for their nap after they had some lunch and that is my favorite time to sit down and get the laundry done because I don't have kids bouncing on the bed or like needing me to do things for them like whatever they need. You know what I mean? Like, mom, I want a snack. Mom, my TV show has a commercial. Things like that. I had a lot of laundry on this day. Um, I'm, I had a bunch of blankets to wash and you'll see in Monday's video because I think I'll, I haven't done it yet, but I'll probably go get that project done after this video because it needs to get done and it's a perfect day for it. Um, we have a little ottoman here at the base of our bed. You can kind of see a corner of it. And we've had that for years. Um, we actually bought it when we moved into our second house, which is our last house. And it barely fit into the trunk of our car. Like we had to take the legs off and everything to get it to work, but we got it. Um, but this is where our dog sleeps. Uh, I want to get her her own doggy bed. She used to have a few, but she has a tendency of like, sometimes we'll rip them because she used to have really bad anxiety. Um, she's much better now with it now that we have like this house, but this is like where she sleeps though. So it kind of, you know, smells a little bit like dog and it's just got some marks in it too, where, you know, if she grooms herself and like she licks it and I don't know, it just needs a good cleaning. <laughs> so you'll probably see that in Monday's video cause it needs desperate help, but that's where we put all of our extra blankets and it would just had a bunch of like hair and it just, it just smelled like it needed a good shampoo. And I just wanted those blankets to smell good and not smell like, I don't know, animal, I guess. We do give Claire um, a bath every once in a while, but we live out in the country. She likes to go out and roll in the dirt and, you know, just run around outside. So it's bound to happen. Let's real life, let's be honest. You know, our animals don't smell like flowers. <laughs> so that's why I needed to get it done. And you see I have the baby monitor with me because my kids were not really wanting to fall asleep. So I had to like just tell them like, hey, we need to have quiet time. You know, let's be quiet and relax. And I also have Miss Chesapeake, who is my helper today. Most of the time when I do these videos, it's Aldi and uh, Reese. But on this day, it was Chesapeake. She is the sweetest kitty cat. And I mean that. Uh, we actually have a nickname. We call her Mama because she moms the kids really bad. So when they were newborns, she would sleep at their feet. Like she would try to climb into their bassinet. And obviously we would not allow that. So, but she just wanted to be like on them at all times, like with them. And she's still like that today. So we'll have them in their rooms at bedtime and she lays in between their doors and stares in both. And she like is constantly checking to make sure that they're okay. The sweetest kitty, I'm telling you. I'm also going to show you, um, I had a clean mop head that I put to the side and I've noticed lately it's kind of gray looking, like it's not bright white like it was when I first bought the O-Cedar mop. I think I've had that mop, ah, oh my goodness, probably a year. I want to say a year. And I read online because I was doing some research on facts about, you know, cleaning chores and things like that. They say you're actually supposed to change out your mop head every three months. I was like, are you crazy? Like I've had mine for over a year. So with that being said, I ordered some off of Amazon, the best deal. Um, they make them like they're not O Cedar brand, but they are meant to be used on the O Cedar, if that makes sense. And it was like $13 for a three pack of them. And they're like microfiber and they're supposed to be really, really good. So I think I'm going to 
be using those from now on. And the little mop head I have here, I think I'm just gonna toss it because I she's seen some days. <laughs> so if they have to be changed every three months, she needs, she's had her time. She's had her time. Okay, I need your opinion because my husband does not like the idea of this, but you guys can help me out. So we have the little drawers in our closet here and you can see that they're silver. They came with those um, handles on them when we bought them that way. I'm not a fan of them and I really like um, the more modern style handles. And so I was thinking to kind of make this like gold and then I wanna take the racks out and spray paint them gold too. So it's like a white and gold in our closet, if that makes sense. But I think that would look really good. So I need your opinion if you think that would look good too, or if you have any other color ideas maybe for the handles, like the hardware of it, leave them in the comment section below. I love to hear your what you guys think would look good too. I'm actually noticing here when I'm doing the voiceover that I have my old work jersey at the very top of my side of the closet. Um, it should be hanging up and I don't know why it's not, but I wanted to point that out. So, cause I'm sure somebody else will see it too, but I need to go move that now that I'm looking at it. That was my old jersey, my very first job. And I loved that job. Oh my goodness. Um, I was a paintball referee. <laughs> it probably sounds really weird, but I loved it. It hurt very bad because like, you know, you're on the field and everybody's playing paintball. You're getting hit with stray paintballs. It was so much fun. <laughs> so if you have a local paintball park near you and you guys were thinking about trying something fun, I would try it. Like a lot of places have it where you can just work weekends and things like that. Try it out. So much fun. <music> And that is it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed, and I will see you all in the next video.